Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some random salty snacks. <laughs> uh, these are the Snyders of Hanover Limited Edition Snyder Fest. They are beer cheese pieces. Mm. And I have the Good and Gather, which is the Target brand. These are both kettle cooked. Um, I have the stuffing flavored and herb potato chips and the black truffle hot sauce potato chip. The Target were $2.49 a bag and the Snyder's were $3.89 at Meyer. And we looked for these for a while, the, the Snyder's, and uh, you know they might have them everywhere now that we're reviewing them, but at the time they only had them at Meyer. So good luck finding them. And they were just in with the regular pretzels. They, they were not a special display or anything. No. Okay, it says, discover a new twist for Oktoberfest. Classic favorites, beer, cheese, dip, and pretzels come together in our limited edition Snyderfest beer, cheese flavored pretzel pieces. Crafted to capture the craveable flavor of beer, cheese, dip, combined with the signature crunch that you expect from Snyder's of Hanover. Um, Snyder, Snyder's of Hanover.com. Uh, 10 servings are in the container. One ounce, 28 grams, about a third of a cup is 140 calories. I like how they're making out that beer cheese is a German Oktoberfest thing. When uh -huh. it's not, it was invented here in Kentucky. It, yeah. <laughs> we have the Beer Cheese Festival in Winchester where yeah. we live. Winchester, it was actually invented in a restaurant in Winchester. Here. Yeah. So, so it's it, pretty funny that they're taking the popularity of beer cheese now and make, tying it to October uh -huh. this is funny. And I noticed how too they called it beer cheese dip. I ne we never say dip with it, we just say beer cheese. It's just mm -hmm. beer cheese, we just, we don't call it dip. Okay. And there used to be one variety, now there's about 500 of them. Mm -hmm. That is not beer cheese. It's not spicy at all. I don't get cheese really, but I do get cheese. I get cheese, but it reminds me of like a, a, it reminds me of like they took like cheese at crackers and they crushed them up. And put, or took that, that cheese. Or took that cheese back. That them. cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I thought, this is more like eating a cracker. Yeah, I do like the cheese flavor, but it's 100% not beer cheese. No. No, and. Because uh, beer cheese, you do get a little bit of that, um, a little bit of the beer flavor, but it's mostly the seasonings they use in there, which is like garlic and onion powder. Sometimes they make it hot and they get it's got cayenne and peppers and stuff. <coughs> yeah, they'll go down the wrong way. Okay, that went down the wrong way. Um, not their fault, my fault. Um, I'm really disappointed that it doesn't have beer, uh, an actual beer cheese flavor because it really wouldn't have been that hard. We have tried uh, beer cheese flavored items from other states. And they, it's not the same. It's literally not the same. Even like we've had, uh, Wisconsin is the, the cheese state. And we've had their version of beer cheese and different things. It's not, it's not right. It's not the same. Kevin has a recipe. It's a really old recipe. I think it was before we renovated this kitchen. I'm sure. It was. But there's a really old recipe on our YouTube channel of beer cheese. Watch that. Yeah. This you need a food processor. That's yeah, it. yeah. This this is nothing. You can make your own beer cheese at home, and it's absolutely delicious. Uh, just Kevin, of course, is gonna say he likes it on a Ritz. I like it better on just a Zesta cracker. Right. But I can see uh -huh. dipping pretzels and stuff in it. Yes, it's just, absolutely. I just, didn't, I just didn't get the flavors. Don't get me wrong. I do like these. I love the cheese flavor. They're very good at cheese pretzels. I would not eat those again. Oh, really? I really see I like them. I don't think they're bad. I don't think they taste bad, but I prefer other ciders of Hanover flavors over those. Um, yeah, pro I probably do because I love the honey mustard ones. But, uh -huh. but yeah, I, I would just, I would I never like the choose these again because I like other flavors. Yeah. That's all. They're not bad. Uh, not beer cheese. Okay, Good and Gather, Target brand, kettle cooked, stuffing flavored in our potato chips. I'm so excited about these. I love dressing, stuffing, um, limited edition. Both it's, these are limited edition. Let's see, small batch, seasonal favorites. 
Um, only around for a limited time, these thickly sliced potatoes are kettle cooked to golden perfection in small batches to make irresistibly crunchy and flavorful. Try all the delicious chip flavors from Good & Gather, made without artificial flavors, synthetic colors, or preservatives. I thought they would just scrub them, they, they did. did not. Seven servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams, about 14 chips is 140 calories. Um, warning, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals, including- It's probably a California proposition. Oh, it is California. Yeah. They want to stick to putting stuff in their face and they don't want to actually They don't want to eat, eat it. it. They just want to inject it. They just it. want to inject it. Yeah. They just want to inject the poison. Okay. That's perfectly all right. You yeah. Inject it. yeah. You can inject whatever you want. Just don't eat it. Okay. Wow. Would uh, that be considered a fall over? That is like... Mega fall over? An epic fall over. <laughs> you don't want me to eat that on camera because it won't be pretty. I do get the herb, the, the herb season. Like the... Um, I think I got a little sage. Mm. You know, I like the flavors, but I don't like the texture. Garlic powder, spices, salt, sugar, onion powder. And it says one or more of the following. They're not telling you everything in it. Um, I definitely, yeah. I think it's sage. I think it has a little bit of something you don't like too. Rosemary? I think it has some rosemary in it too. Uh -huh. um, flavors are fun. The textures though is almost like a stale chip. You, oh, know, you, how, you know how you get a stale chip and they're kind of, they're still crunchy, but they're little, just like a little chewy. Uh -huh. that, that's what these textures are like. And these are kettle cooks, so they're kind of hard and crunchy, but they still have a little softness to them there. No, no. I absolutely love these. Would get them all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and they really do, um, they give you that uh, Thanksgiving type they flavor. They do. The seasonings are, are dressing Thanksgiving. I love the seasoning. Flavor. I personally like the texture of them. I think if you don't like kettle cooked chips, you'll want to pass. They are hard chips. Yeah, they're, they they're are. Hard crunchy chips. Um, and after you eat a bunch of them, they would probably hurt your mouth. They're greasy. I like a greasy chip. For me, that is like I love those. Um, and I wish they sold them in smaller bags, like oh, single serve. Yeah, yeah cuz this would be hard to keep my hands out of. Okay. This one I'm scared of. This is the black truffle hot sauce, and I'm not scared of the hot sauce part. I'm scared of the truffle part because Kevin and I a little too earthy for us. Yeah, we really don't care for truffle. Um, this is a 15 chips, 140 calories. It says the same thing on the it's bag. It's usually overdone. Is yes. why we don't like it because it's, it's so strong anyway. Yeah. Kind of like rose can be really mess up. Get that funkiness. You know what? We have had tr truffle that's more subtle. Yeah. I'm hoping this will be more subtle. Do you want to smell it? No. Okay. Let's see. I found a nice fold over. I think this one's one that's more subtle. Now see the crunch on those? It's crunch all the way through. It doesn't have that little bit of softness. Mm -hmm. I um I absolutely get the heat. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You don't get the flavor of the hot sauce a lot though. It's no, mostly heat. It's heat. It is, um, you, I do taste the truffle. Oh, 100% you taste it. That's the first flavor that hits your mouth. But it's not as strong as some of the other stuff we got. It's definitely not. It's not overdone, but it still is there. Mm -hmm. So, if you like truffle, then I think you will love these. I personally, I just don't like it at all. I don't like, I don't like anything about it. Um... It makes me wonder if, you know, we've only had truffle in in chips and stuff like that. And we've also had seasoning, mm -hmm. which I detested. I mean, really, I don't know if that came through in the video, but I just, it's just disgusting. Uh, but I'm wondering, when you go to these fancy restaurants and people order stuff with truffle, is it the same flavor? Sure it's truffle, just like because you I do not get it. I don't. No, no, thank you. I, I you know, it's disgusting to me. It's very earthy. Mm -hmm. Very, very earthy and very strong. I, 
If I had to eat black truffle, though, these chips are good. I agree. If I had to eat it, I could eat these. Yeah. Like, like these are passable. You know, if it's the end of the world and these are the only bag of chips, yes, I could eat them. them because they're they're not as strong as others we've had. Mm -hmm. Would I ever in a million years choose it? No, because I don't like truffle. But I think you all will appreciate it that like truffle. Yeah, I, I think they did an okay job on the flavors. The hot sauce really doesn't come through flavor-wise, but you get the heat. Mm -hmm. So they could have just called them spicy black truffle and it would have been just as good. Right. Because I really don't get that vinegary, peppery hot sauce flavor. It's just all black truffle and mm -hmm. potato chips. I, out of those two, I would get the stuffing one for sure. These definitely have mm -hmm. rosemary. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, no. well, I went back to one. Mm -hmm. They even have a meaty kind of like, um, you know how you get um, like the turkey juice and stuff like that, the mm -hmm. flavor? It's got a little bit of that kind of uh, savory kind of flavor. I think they're perfect for they're good. I ate another one and it's still, texture's just a little different, but I still like them. We had a chip from, uh, it's been years ago, so I'm not going to remember the name of it, but it was from Whole Foods. And it, they put it out for just the Thanksgiving season. It was a... Um, it was just for that time of year, and it was it it was really nice. It tasted like Thanksgiving. This is what the, this reminds me of is that stuffing slash dressing. Um, it it really reminds me of that. Out so, of the three, though, I would get the Snyder's. Okay, out of the three, you know I'm picking this. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you get the opportunity to try any of these, uh, then let us know your thoughts. These were on a display. I'm trying to think of where we found them. So the Snyders, Kevin told you, they were in the aisle with the regular. And they blend in. They Look do. for the blue and white. Uh, what is that, gingham? Yeah, gingham. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Checkered. Checked. Checked. It's, checked. it's yeah. yeah, checked those. Um, diamonds. Yeah. Um, the, these, uh, good and gather were actually on a display. Like they have, um, right now all their Halloween stuff's out. So they had like the, the cookies and stuff like that on the top of the display and around the bottom of the display is where these chips were. So I, I was looking for them. That's the only reason I spotted them because they were on the bottom, but that's where you're going to find them. I do not think they'll be in the aisle with the regular potato mm, chips. Probably not. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have uh, pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching.